Uh, well, uh, now we're talking about um, the state of the world today. The pardon? What happened with the with the world today? All the, the problems who go with the fire, the coronavirus, yeah. unemployment, all these villages and well-being wiped out by corporation, and how people should find uh, a way to live a more peaceful, more economical, um, a well-being. You know, people, the, the world is full of bickering, and especially young people, angry about everything. And then, why you think all this problem we have got people on happiness, uh, uh, people, politicians who are lying, yeah. uh, corporations they're taking uh, I was listening to something about uh, something simple like I send a postcard to your mother or to your grandma, and they say, okay, and just to go to the internet and click in here, and we send, we send a postcard to your mother. Yeah. And, and they go, no. Why you not go to the local artisano and the, the little lady who make it handmade the postcard or make it you send a, a postcard and send it to your mother? Yes. Because it's empowering the people and then those corporations, what they do at the only day, they give it the impression, uh, it's like this ancient idea that it's a, a, a wolf or a, a wolf or a hyena. We are lama, yes. We are lama face. Yeah, a wolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the corporation has becoming even the art and music. They robbing the chance. They robbing that they steal the humanity. They steal the. Okay, I think they steal. No, on the bottom. On the bottom. They steal the humanity or a young teenager who want to have uh, a girlfriend and maybe contact his girlfriend and invite her for a dinner party. And no, you have to ask her to Google or Alexa to find your girlfriend compatible. And then the world do not work like that. And then this is a, it does began way, way back when you say, for example, uh, you, go to, uh, you go to school and they say, well, the world began, and the beginning was nothing, and then exploit. And what's the big bang? Exploit. And exploit. Yeah. Not like psh, big uh, explosion. Mm -hmm. And you go, wait a minute, what do you mean? Can you explain that? Oh, we can't explain to complicate that. Imagine what's a rubbish, uh, in, in the rubbish compost. And then, and what happened? Well, all the chemical when they compose over many millions and millions of years. No, tell me what happened. One, two, three, four. Because you see, uh, if you have, if you want to make a silent, okay? Ancient in ancient England, they have the, they have a mill, a willing mill. They push the apple, and they smash in the apple, mm -hmm. and they make a liquid, and they leave it for six, seven days. But you you leave it more than six days, uh, becoming poison. And then the longer you get it, it's worse. It's no better. Mm. And then time is no good for synthesis or chemistry. You know what happens when you make a pudding and you put sugar and you glaze them? You know what happens if you go to the phone? When you turn it back, you have a Because uh, the chemistry go in one direction that has been organized in that way. And they go from different compounds to alcohol, so ethanol, and then cyanide. And then time will poison you rather than make you a human being. Mm -hmm. And then, if no, we don't know how life began. Nobody knows. But they <laughs> give you the impression that they know. Oh, we have faith. faith no, 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 no the people who are in power who print it. Yeah, I, I think that the money system is faith based on, it was based on gold, was based on silver, but now it's based on faith. The beginning of the planet is based on faith. <laughs> So what happens is people believe in things like unicorns. Yeah, and leprechaun. There's a leprechaun. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, unicorn it's, is a leprechaun. Yeah, um, uh, faith. I don't mean I don't criticize. Religions are faith. They're yeah. based on faith. You have to believe it, but you can't prove it. Yeah, yeah. But the other thing is about uh, science, for example. Uh, the English language is not really uh, cannot explain anything for the ancient world, for the ancient wisdom. 
and what happened is for people say to you, oh, I'm a scientist. And you go, okay, explain me how, what this word stands for. Oh, I believe in it, and then they can explain. But yo, I'm in Spanish. The word science are coming from the Latin conciencia. Hmm. Because you uh, uh, spell it in the original sound is conciencia. And when you want people faith, how you say? They are unconscious. Unconscious. Unconscious, okay. Mm -hmm. But the word science are coming from that word. You are aware that you are alive. You are conscious about the environment. This is my hand, this is who I am, and then anybody who could hear, could see, is a scientist. Hmm. According to the word. Yeah. Okay? And then, it's, it's nothing special between the old lady who, who make a brewery to, kill, to, to uh, cure her um, catarro, or, or you know these old people who, who they give a massage in your belly, or the yeah. old lady. It's called curanderos or whatever you call it, because they know the science of the herb. Hmm. Not because they went to Cambridge. Probably I will trust them more. The old lady who has cured 3,000 people in her 80 year of being a, the doctor in the village in the mountain, than somebody <laughs> who has a PhD degree in Cambridge. Well, yes, yeah, it is a certain need. Yes. And then uh, what happened with the war in everything like this? I believe that the trust has been lost. Uh, and there is no any more trust. Uh, for example, I teach a painting a lady from St. Davis. Yeah. She kind of get out of the house and the doctor said, you might do something uh, to water color. And she called me and I went to the third day to make a teacher her water color. Yeah. But she wanted to paint it like me right away. Mm. And I go, no, no, no. This is not that simple. You, I, and then I, I didn't want to, to the, go to her house and take her money for my class. When I tell her that it will take a long time, mm -hmm. but I will give her the tool. And then I'm seeing this uh, garden. You have a garden you know, mm -hmm. with strawberries and flowers and tomatoes. And she said, Oh, you must take it home some strawberry. And I go, No, no, it's okay. It's your garden. Why are we taking you? And she said, because my son and my daughter will not eat it. And I go, why? No, because they are coming from Tesco. <laughs> <laughs> they have to be coming clean in the box who say Tesco or Morrison. If not, they will not touch it because they've seen those strawberries from the house and wrong with them. Yeah. And that's so profound wrong. How do we go? You explain to me, how do we get to that point where children can not eat? the strawberry and the mother grow in the garden or the meal from the cow. That's easy. It's uh, pattern recognition. You, you recognize patterns. So if, let's say, you would always grew strawberries and they were always in your garden and you knew that there were wild strawberries in the hills, you would pick the wild strawberries. Mm. You would be very suspicious if somebody gave you strawberries in a plastic container <laughs> that came from another place. You had no idea where they were from. And apparently they had chemicals on, yeah, yeah, which yeah. might be nasty. Yeah. For but I don't know what so the people chip. trust Tesco's because they're used to Tesco's. That's what they've known, and they were human beings love things which are there carry on talking, and then. evolved. Yeah, carry on talking. Yeah. And I suppose <laughs> Ralph has gone out. No, the wind. The, the wind. The wind.